right, we're, we're here on Sycamore Road. Um, it's a local road in Point Township. It services about eight, nine people. Uh, so it's a more low, low traveled road, but uh, as you can see, the, the road is in, in poor shape. We have a lot of alligator cracking, some base failures. Um, over the years, the, the middle of the road has been built up and as more and more people moved into the area, they, they uh, widened the road, but never did proper base on the road. So our goal today is we're gonna, we're gonna zip up what's here, um, and then it will bring uh, some milling material in, some recycled millings, and lay that down on the road about four to six inches. We'll bring the zipper back in, regrind all that to a depth of approximately eight, nine inches, somewhere in there, uh, do a final, uh, profiling of the road and a final compaction to be then followed by a double chip seal with a fog seal over top. Now this road's a little over a thousand feet and we made about six passes with our machine. We have a four foot machine. So we did about 6,000 feet in about six hours roughly, which was great time. I did not expect us to get done today. Um, but yeah, the project went, went smoothly, no issues. Uh, we ground we ended up being able to go down about four inches in depth once we saw what we had to work with. Uh, so we were able to pull some material that had been buried here in pre previous years and pull that back to the surface to kind of blend back in together. A uh, road that would have cost us over $200,000 uh, if, if we subbed it out, we're gonna be able to bring home for around 35,000, which is the cost of seal coat. Uh, we just did a project last week. That was a little over 3,000 feet of road uh, we were able to bring that in for about 150, uh, which was about half of what the quote we got for the road was about three to 400,000. Uh, so uh, huge cost savings for the township, which in turn is a huge cost savings for the residents. Yeah, 350,000 in two weeks we saved. So the machine is more than paid for it, almost double or paid for itself twice over already. Just in two weeks. In two weeks. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't get much better than that. <laughs> The process is so easy. Most of us have no experience prior to coming here. The one guy uh, that I have working for, for me here, he's, he came up with this, the perfect quote for this machine. If a cop, a cook, and a musician can do it, anybody can do it. From the first time, when the first time the teeth hit the ground, this road is drivable as is before we even touch it with a grater or roller. Um, you can make a thousand foot pass at one shot and you can drive a vehicle any, any vehicle, even a bicycle. We have had a guy on a bicycle come through here and you can drive on this road all day long before we even touch it. So um, it's a drivable surface right from the get-go. What we'll do tonight, uh, before the end of the day today, is we'll actually go through and we'll grade the road off, just grade it level, roll it in so the residents have a smooth driving surface for the evening. Um, then beginning tomorrow, we will actually haul in uh, recycled material, uh, millings we had received from another project. I forget how many tons we got. Um, so that was another plus that we were able to utilize material from another project to be able to make this project become so affordable for the, for the taxpayers. Um, so we'll bring about six inches of uh, millings material in. We'll lay that down on the road. We'll just tailgate it. We'll grade it off with our, with our grader. Uh, we'll put about a 4% crown in it. We'll compact it with our with the roller, and then about a month we will have a seal coat put on a double double uh, seal coat with a fog seal over top. We are laying milling material down that we received from PennDOT. We're going to place about four to six inches of milling material over top of this. But what we'll end up doing is we'll actually end up running our zipper back over all this material and get some of these bigger chunks out. PennDOT's machine produces larger chunks, still free material is free material, whereas the asphalt zipper is able to produce more uniform material, which is better for grading and better for compaction and better for stability. The, pr the particular project that we're doing here, had we had to go out and have it contracted out, would have probably cost the township in the neighborhood of $200,000. But for most of the work that we do, it's small work. It's not necessarily two mile, three mile stretches of road. It's usually a quarter mile or a half mile section of road that we're um, trying to get accomplished. Much of it we could do in house. This particular two hundred thousand dollar project, we're going to do essentially for less than forty. And uh, so it, it's not only a cost savings, but it, it's a convenience for us. It's made our crew much more efficient. Uh, given time, we could do work that, uh, you know, at our schedule, at our pace, so that 
that while we're maybe not doing mowing or whatever else, we could be out rebuilding roads. And uh, today at, the, at what the costs are and the budget limitations that most municipalities have, this has been a godsend for Point Township. I, I like simple, you know, affordable and simple.